Hi guys, this is your daily horoscope and energy reading for June 17th, Wednesday, and I have a pretty decent day. I'm not going to lie, like this is going to be kind of one of those days where the energy is pretty equal on both sides, but it's not going to be a terrible day. It's not going to be a deep day. It's not going to be a dark day. It's just going to be a day where you're going to, it's going to be more about balance today and equal energy Dis distribution. So let's talk about that. So again, you have the sun in Gemini and Mars in Gemini, both sitting in conjunct. So anything that you're super passionate about, you're going to have childlike enthusiasm for. You're going to be able to communicate effectively about it. You're going to, um, it's anything that ignites your um, passion is going to be something that's truly authentic that you want at this point in your life. It's not something that you're just going through the motions and doing. It's like you really authentically want this to happen. Um, your moon is going to be in cancer. Now, a cancer moon is a very, very emotional moon. It's an emotional placement. Now, cancer, the, the moon is home when it's sitting in cancer. So I think for the most part, um, it's going to be a decent day. I think a situation could come up today where if something does make you emotional, I think you're going to just take a, a good hard look at it when you get home. When you're sitting in your in your house and there's nobody around, you kind of lock yourself away. And I think you're going to evaluate it and you're going to find a way to meet in the middle. I think it has something to do with just, you. right now there's so much passion and there's so much enthusiasm, but you, you just don't want to be too optimistic. And so you really want to just balance out, is this good for me? You know, can I keep my power in this situation? You know, if it is, if, if love is coming into your life or... You know, if there's some new opportunities, I think you're just going to want to really evaluate, you know, like, are these actually a really good situation for me? Does this really, is this really going to work out in the long run? So it's a balancing energy. I like it. I don't like it when energy sways all good or sways all bad. I like it to be somewhat where we're, we're staying in the middle and we're keeping everything in, in perspective. I mean, I just think that that's the best way that I, I manage energy. Venus in Leo and Jupiter in Leo are both going to still be conjuncting. So again, you could be really lucky in love right now. You could you could have, you know, financial um, opportunities that seem to come out of nowhere that really, really make you enthusiastic. Yet you want to still balance it out. You're trying, you're going, you want to think things through. You want to make sure that this is all a good idea. You want to make sure it's all not too good to be true. So, because, you know, with Jupiter coming in here, you're, it, this, this energy makes you want to pleasure seek. It makes all your senses want to be ignited. So it could elevate your need for love. Um, especially when you've got a moon sitting in, in cancer, it's going to make you, it, it could make you, okay, so there's two ways it could go. It can make you extremely needy in love and, and, and make you want, need intimacy and need somebody to complete you. Or it can make you be the other way where it can make you be like, I really, really want this person. I think I know what I want now, but I'm nervous. I'm scared about it. So you're going to have that kind of energy where you want to, you're just going to want to think it through. Neptune in Pisces is going to be in quincunx with, with Venus, so it's going to keep you realistic about any financial endeavors, any creative opportunities that you want to seek and, and start up and, and um, pursue. It, and it's going to make you grounded and level-headed in love. It's going to make you apprehensive. You know, it's going to keep the veil, it's going to keep the veil off and it's going to keep things real. And we need our energy to be in a state where we're constantly in the present. We don't need to get caught up in the future and we don't need to get caught up in the past. We need to be in an area in our lives where we're, where we're happy looking at everything as a total. And, and I really enjoy energy like this. I, I, I'm, I'm very ecstatic that we're going to be going into this energy. Um, that is your daily horoscope and energy reading for June 17th, and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.